Hey guys! What's up? This is Amy here. Recently, Apple released iOS 17.2, and surprisingly, this version is compatible with the Pangu jailbreak. As you can see here, I am able to install and access Cydia or Saleo on my iOS 17.2 device. By the end of this video, I will also show you how to install tweaks, like getting cool screen transition effects, or installing very cool music widget right under your dock icons like this. This method is 100% secure and working great, even with the latest iPhone 15 lineups. You will get untethered Cydia or Saleo, meaning they will work even after rebooting your iDevice, so you won't need to re-jailbreak it again and again. All right! So, without any further delay, let's get right into the method. Let me show you the current version of iOS installed on my iPhone 14. All right, guys. As you can see, it's the latest iOS 17.2. Before jailbreak, we need to perform few steps. Since Apple does not allow jailbreak, there are few settings within iPhone that will block the jailbreaking. So let me show you how to get your device ready for the jailbreak. First of all, go to Settings. Then go to General Option, Background App Refresh. Choose this option here, which is Wi-Fi and Mobile Data. In the next step, you have to go back to Main Settings page. Then scroll down and go to this option which says Battery. Here, you need to make sure that the Low Power Mode is turned off. If it's turned on like this, you will see a yellow color within the battery icon. So, make sure to turn off this option. Now, in this last step, go back to Main Settings page, scroll down, and choose this App Store option. Here, you have to make sure this Automatic Downloads option is turned on. If it's turned off, you won't be able to download Cydia or Saleo after the jailbreak. That's it, guys. That's everything you have to do to make sure your device is ready to be jailbroken. Now, open up Safari Browser and then go to this website, iospangu.com. Make sure you visit the correct link. I will add this link in the first comment below. So, this is how the website looks like. What you need to do is click on this Download button right here. Now, there is a social locker. To be able to proceed to next step, you need to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or share this website on Facebook or Twitter. It's all up to you. I will demonstrate how to do YouTube subscribe here. So, click on this YouTube icon and you will be redirected to a YouTube channel. First, click on the subscribe button and make sure to turn the notification on to all. Once everything is done, go back to the browser and you should see the download button has been unlocked. Now you can proceed to click on the download button. The website will then ask you to install Pangu Configuration Profile. So, click on Allow button, then go to Home Page. Now you have to open up your iPhone settings. Here, you should see an option named Profile Downloaded here on top. Choose this option and then click on Install button. Now, enter your passcode if required. Then click on Next and choose Install again. Click on Done button to close this window. All right, the Pangu configuration profile has been installed and you should see the Pangu app right here. Go ahead and open it up. Here, it will show you the current iOS version running on your iPhone. Finally, click on this jailbreak button. All right, guys, Pangu has begun the jailbreaking process and it should take around two to three minutes to complete the process. So I am gonna just fast forward this part. All right, guys, the process is almost done and there it is. Jailbreak has been completed and now it's giving me option to install Saleo. You may even get option to install Cydia, depending upon the availability for the current iOS version. Don't worry, Saleo is as good as Cydia. You can say it's more advanced than Cydia, so just go ahead and choose the option to install it. Then go back to home screen and you will see Saleo being installed on your device. And it has been installed successfully. That's all guys. This is how you can easily jailbreak the OS 17.2 and install Saleo or Cydia. You can proceed to install iOS 17 compatible tweaks with Saleo now. Please note that not all tweaks are yet compatible with iOS 17, but as the jailbreak has been finally arrived on iOS 17, you should soon see a lot of compatible tweaks in Cileo. Let me go ahead and install one of the tweaks to demonstrate the process. Here I am going to install a tweak called Cylinder. 
this tweak will give you really cool home screen icon animations. Currently, there are 45 icon effects. If these animations do not satisfy your needs, then you can create your own animations using Lua. Just go ahead and proceed to install this tweak from Saleo. You can find same tweak with Insidia as well. Once the tweak is installed, go ahead and respring your device. Then all you have to do is just unlock your iPhone to see the magic. There it is. As you can see, I am getting a lot of cool screen transition effects. You can change these effects from settings. Just click on this Cylinder Reborn option, then go to Effects. Here, you will see list of all the effects. You can choose any effect you want. Let's try this wheel effect. Then go back to home screen, and there it is. This is how the wheel effect looks like. Let's go back to settings, disable this, and try something else, like this wave effect. This is how it looks like. Not so cool though. Let's go back and check out something else. This stretch effect sounds cool. Okay, this is how it works. Well, to be honest, I like that bubble effect much more than other ones. You can find this effect on top and this is how it works. Isn't it cool? Let's try one more tweak. I will be installing Multipla Light. Multipla Light brings a bit of the power from Multipla right to your dock for free. Featuring the music widget from Multipla, Multipla Light allows you to get a feel for Multipla before you purchase the full version. Although there is a full paid version, you can see enjoy lot of other cool features of this tweak in free version. Just go ahead and install this tweak. Once it's installed, you need to respring the device and then unlock your device to see the effect. So here it is, guys. All you need to do now is just swipe the dock to get the music widget here. You can actually use any other widget here as well, instead of music. But you need to get a paid version of Multipla for that. Anyway, this free music widget feature of Multipla Lite is also really awesome. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you face any issue, just comment below and I will help you with it. However, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel first. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in next video. Till then, peace out!